thought of exercising oh. makes us tired even before we begin. Yeah, I'm kind of there. But this latest study reveals mm -hmm. if you change your thought process, the workouts actually become easier. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here right now. Okay. How can we think our way to work out easier? Yeah, and you guys put both are interested in this, aren't you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. What is it? Canadian researchers wanted to find out exactly what he just said. So they split 18 competitive cyclists into two groups. For two weeks, the group trained as they normally did, and the other group trained in what's called motivational skills training. Now, researchers found that athletes who took part in the motivational skills training were able to pedal for 25% longer than they could before. They also could endure higher levels of discomfort. This is for you, Stephen. Oh, and, and longer periods than, than their peers. So it that's important. Begs right? the question. Yeah, my limit's like 30 seconds. Where have we <laughs> stop? What exactly is motivational <laughs> skills training? So motivational skills training is, is when you think, like, you have positive self-talk. And so basically take a negative thought and turn it into a positive, more empowering thought. For example, Steve, when you say my legs are killing me, yeah, which you I do. change that to say, you know, I can handle this or I'm really doing oh, wow, well. Wow, my legs are getting strong. It's exactly. That's what I thought. It's how you think, yep. oh, which right. directly impacts how well you work out. So it sounds a little silly, but it actually does work. All right. What are your prescriptions, maybe other ways you can motivate yourself to work out? Absolutely. So, you know, number one, pick something you like. Don't force yourself, or force yourself to do something you hate. Instead, work in the garden. Take the dog for a walk. Go for a hike or a swim. Whatever you enjoy doing. Number two, start with a small goal. They're easier to measure, and after each success, your confidence will build. Number three, Pick a regular time and stick with it. This is really important. You'll be more likely to follow through and won't have to worry when you can fit it in. And lastly, mix, mix up your routine every now and then and try different types of workouts. This will keep life more interesting and not boring. And you'll exercise uh, other muscle groups. People love to procrastinate. They may want to exercise, but it's, well, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll put it off. Exactly. A advice on how not to do that. That's important. So you just need to take baby steps. Don't get overwhelmed with thinking that you have to hit the gym hard. Any movement is exercise. That's important. Any movement of exercise, as long as you're getting some in, you're a lot better off than someone who isn't. And try exercising with a friend. Studies show you work out longer if you have company. And focus on this. If you are active, you'll feel more energetic, sleep better, and be less stressed. And then, I think, live a better life. I try not to get disappointed. You know, I say, oh, I didn't lose 20 pounds again today. Yeah, yeah. Takes a little time. It'd be a miracle if you did, my friend. Really? We'd all want to know how. Motivational skills training, my friend. Yeah, so I say, it, like takes, it takes a while to put it on. It's not coming off right away. Yeah, right. right. All right, Dr.